Welcome friends, it's Ray. Thank you so much for joining me today. In today's video, I'm making 15 cards using the Simple Stories Simple Vintage C's 6x8 paper pad. Here I'm flipping through the papers. So I also got the nautical bits and there are 40 pieces in this pack. And I'm just quickly flip, uh, putting these on the screen so that you can see them. Card numbers one through three, use my blueprint design sketch number 104-68, which I designed to use with six by eight pattern papers. And here I've stacked three pattern papers together and I'm going to cut this at the two and a fourth inch mark and then uh, another piece at the one inch mark. And in retrospect, I think next time I won't stack three papers deep. My, my guillotine trimmer cuts that, but um, I noticed a little bit of shifting and so therefore my papers don't match up 100%. And here I've just cut this one at the four and one fourth inch mark, and that is going, and this one as well. And then that's going to leave me with a three and three quarter inch piece. So here I've cut mats that measure three and a half by eight and a fourth. And I am figuring out uh, the placement of my pattern paper. I cut three pat pieces of pattern paper, so that just means I can make three cards with what I've cut. And so if your pattern paper has a direction, you wanna make sure it's facing the right direction when you place it on your mat so that, um, um, you know, wording is not upside down, or in this case, my boats are not upside down. I will only put together one of these cards on camera, and I have a metal table underneath uh, my craft mat. So I'm placing uh, all of my panels on my mat and placing uh, magnets on top so that uh, they stay relatively in the spot I need them to be. Then I'm using liquid glue and placing all of my pieces on my mat. I'm leaving about a quarter inch border all the way around. So that turquoise color, uh, about a, uh, a fourth of an inch all the way around and no space in between my pattern paper pieces. Um, that is my um, design for this pattern paper. So as I affix each piece to my mat, I am, this is kind of where I noticed that my, my cutting, uh, because I stack my pattern paper and appears they shift it, I've got a little bit of extra space, uh, just a tiny bit, and that's going to be okay because of um, when I bring in my other elements, it's going to cover it, but I just want it to alert you to that. Uh, so next time I will cut those uh, separately. And so here I'm bringing in my two and three quarter inch circle and I've glued that to the um, panel and bringing in one of the lighthouses uh, from the nautical bits and determining where I want to place my second smaller circle that has my sentiment on it and this sentiment comes from an old hero arts kit so just using liquid adhesive to uh, secure my uh, or affix my lighthouse and after I get my lighthouse affixed I will place an acrylic block on top uh, to add pressure so that that liquid adhesive it fixes very well then i'm going to bring in uh, one of the seashells and starfish from the nautical bits and those are popped up on foam tape 
Next, I'm going to place my uh, main panel onto my card base. This is a 120 pound accent opaque paper. Love it for card base. It's very heavy. Um, so I place that uh, focal panel on my card base. And now I am bringing in some um, gold Elizabeth Crafts Designs uh, peel-offs and placing those around um, my in focal images. And I place one atop my uh, lighthouse tower. Um, so that is my light. <laughs> I'm bringing in my Wink of Stella and coloring in my um, starfish and my clamshell really pretty adds a lot of shimmer um don't think you'll be able to see it quite that well on the video but uh believe me in person it is very nice and here's a look at the three cards i made using this design cards number four and five use blueprint design sketch number 109-68 I will leave a link uh, in the description bar below um, that allows you to download the free template or sketch for this design. I've cut my pieces off camera and all of the measurements are on the downloadable template. And so here I am sorting uh, so that I know uh, exactly which pieces I will use um, for each design. Here I'm placing double-sided tape on back of my pattern paper. Then I use that tape to stick um, or affix my bottom pattern paper. And uh, I have cut the mats for each of my pieces and we'll use liquid glue to affix those um, to my pattern paper. I placed an acrylic block on top and here I'm removing my uh, double-sided tape and then applying glue to the back of those two joined pattern paper pieces. And then I will go ahead and place this on my mat. I'm going to use the two life preservers from the nautical bits and one is small and one is large and I have brought out some twine from my stash and I'm just wrapping it around and taping it onto taping the twine onto the life ring or the life preserver. Once I get that all wrapped I'm going to pop this up on foam tape. So now it's time to assemble directly on my 120 pound card base. So I'm starting with the, the right side because I want the, the left on top of that piece. And we'll affix these with liquid glue. And here I'm bringing in a scrap piece of paper because I am going to uh, need to place that on the larger panel. Uh, to level out um, these um, matted pattern paper pieces. So that's what I'm doing here. I am using scraps, so I'm piecing together more than one piece so that it runs the entire length of the uh, this panel. I go ahead then um, and add my liquid glue and affix this panel to directly to my card base. And here I'm using Wordy's sentiment sheets by Creative Expressions, uh, the thank you, thank you um, pack. <laughs> and uh, loving these, they come in black and white and there's a sentiment that says you are a lifesaver and I thought this was very fitting for this design. That's what I'll be using. I've also uh, die cut a large hexagon from the W plus nine hexagon stackers uh, and that's just out of white card stock and I'm uh, using my large um, floral 
leaf image what is that a uh, seaweed I'm gonna call it using that uh, to position where I want my hexagon and then I will affix that with glue also after I get my seaweed there down I will bring in my um, life preserver and remove the release tape and that is popped up on foam so that will add some dimension to this card. I bring in my other elements. I'm using one of the smaller uh, lighthouses um, and decide not to use this bird, but will bring in uh, one of the seashells. So I'm going to fix those two with some liquid glue. Next, I need to decide where I want to place my sentiments. I'm bringing in some Hero Arts uh, Intense Black Ink and just uh, going around the edges of that set, those sentiment strips uh, to cover up the white edges. Then I decide I want the word Big Thanks uh, right in the center of my life preserver. So I'm going to pop that on some foam tape and add that to the center. Then I will place uh, my bottom sentiment, You Are a Lifesaver, place that underneath my life preserver and that will just be flat. Here I'm going to trim down the twine on my uh, life preserver and then bring in some sequins mix uh, from my stash and add three of those uh, around my lighthouse just to add some more interest there. I add the sequins to my card using liquid glue and that finishes off cards four and five. Let's take a closer look at them. Cards six and seven are using the pattern paper from the pad and it has a large focal image and I have just trimmed down the three and one quarter inches uh, and then I'm uh, cutting a navy mat that's three and three eighths by eight and one eighth and we'll use that to mat my panel. My apologies for any background noise. I'm sorry, I don't have a soundproof uh, editing um, room, if you will. But here I'm placing the um, focal image onto my mat, and I've left about an eighth of an inch. And I am making two cards with this design. So now I'm uh, putting liquid glue onto a sentiment from that same Creative Expressions set and mounting that onto a um, 3 8 inch strip to, to mat it. And then we'll place this directly onto my focal panel. And here I will bring in my scissors and trim off that edge of that uh, strip and then I bring in my pelican and I have popped that up on foam tape and we'll place that right next to my sentiment. Next I will place uh, some Elizabeth Crafts silver uh, peel offs, uh, three of those on uh, this focal panel. Love the way this card turned out. And next, I will bring in some Week of Stella uh, for and color in or add glitter, I should say, to my pelican. <laughs> Lovely. And adding a little bit uh, to the, the lighthouse. Ooh, I love that shimmer. So for my next design, I'm going to use that leftover from those uh, cards six and seven and to make cards eight and nine and blueprint design sketch number 110-68. And he here I'm just cutting a fishtail um, on the large pattern paper. 
all of the measurements are on the free downloadable sketch design and I have uh, cut a navy mat uh, so that I leave a 1 8 inch border on the left and right and bottom of this fishtail. Uh, sorry, this is a little off camera, but here I am cutting uh, the fishtail at the bottom uh, so that my mat has about a 1 8 inch uh, border um, on the bottom end of this panel as well. Then I'm bringing in my trimmer and trimming off just a sliver off of that right side. I brought in some burlap type ribbon from my stash and I have cut a fishtail on the top and the bottom of that uh, ribbon. And then I'm gonna bring in my uh, circle that is, my circle measures approximately two and three quarter inches. And I will apply liquid adhesive to the back and then just place that onto uh, the top of that panel with my burlap ribbon underneath. And I was really liberal in the center of that circle so that uh, everything adheres. And I'm bringing in one of the boats from the nautical bits and have affixed that to my circle. I have placed a sentiment strip from that creative expression set onto navy, uh, a navy mat. And then I am, um, I have popped that up on foam tape and placing it onto my focal panel, turning that over and trimming off the edges. I then mount that panel directly onto my card base, just center it. And I did use liquid adhesive so that I'd have a lot of wiggle room and can get that position just so. And I'm bringing in those gold uh, Elizabeth Craft peel off stickers for this design. And I did make two of those. Take a look at the finished cards. For my fifth design, cards 11 and 12, I'm using Freshly Made Sketches number 339 and am adapting it to slimline size. And uh, here I have cut uh, a large pattern paper piece to 3 and 5 eighths by 8 and then a small pattern paper piece to three and five eighths by four and three fourths. And then I have cut that four and three fourth piece on the diagonal so that I have two half, um, two halves uh, or two separate triangles. I've made myself a template that measures three and five eighths by eight and three eighths. I am placing my uh, largest pattern paper piece on top and just adding some uh, folded paper towel and a clip um, because I don't want to make an indentation in my pattern paper. Uh, but now here I am lining this up and um, lining up my small piece or triangle on the right and placing liquid glue, uh, being careful not to place it on the template that's on the bottom. And that just gives me the sizing. I mean, I could have not used this and then just uh, glue those two pieces to my large pattern paper and then just trim them down so that the end result is eight and three eighths inches tall. So there is any number of ways to do this. Um, um, and I probably will just in future line those up and just trim it down. <laughs> but hindsight, right? Uh, so this is just a different uh, option for getting those, uh, getting a eight and three eighth inch length. Bringing in one of the large whales from the nautical beds and placing that on the diagonal. I had envisioned just having uh, the tail sticking out beyond the pattern paper 
but I forgot. Uh, I think I like this better though with the full whale uh, showing. And then I'm bringing in an anchor from the nautical bits and uh, we'll bring in um, my sentiment next. I have already uh, die cut or I should say heat emboss that onto some navy card stock sending you oceans of love and um, uh, using liquid glue to affix that to my panel. Use my mono sand eraser to get some bits of stray embossing powder off of my sentiment strip. And here I'm bringing in just a scrap piece of paper to affix to the back side of my panel just at the bottom where my pattern paper, um, where there was a gap between the end of my pattern paper and the end of my focal panel. So that builds it up to the same depth uh, along the full panel. And then I'm just trimming that excess off. Next, I'm going to go ahead and affix that focal panel to my mat um, using double-sided adhesive and I've partially released my the release tape uh, but leaving the other part on until I get my panel position just where I want it and then I will commit it by removing the rest of that release tape and my mat measure navy mat measures three and three quarters by eight and a half it is going to span the, the entire uh, front of my card base. I am bringing in some of the uh, gold peel-offs by Elizabeth Crafts and placing three of those on my card front. And I brought in some Wink of Stella and uh, colored in my anchor or glittered up my anchor and the compass on my second card to add a little shine. Cards number 12 and 13 use uh, my blueprint sketch design number 107-68 and this is my sixth design for this video. Here I have applied my seaweed to my largest pattern paper piece. All the measurements are on the design template that you can download free. Uh, and so I am bringing in a pre heat embossed uh, sentiment that says happy birthday. I do need some more birthday cards. So that's why I chose that sentiment. Um, and then I have uh, two smaller pattern paper pieces that measure two by two and three quarters. Um, or you can um, leave the larger piece, um, a pattern paper doubled, and then mat it and cut it in half. Either way. But I'm using the smaller pieces and uh, matting them and then uh, trimming off the edge of my sentiment strip and we'll go ahead and mat this large pattern paper piece. Using uh, design sketches just makes it so much easier and efficient for me when I'm using pattern paper. Um, I can just take a sketch, cut based on the measurements, and then just assemble my card and uh, don't have to um, guess about the design unless I'm creating a sketch to share with you. Sorry, my lighting is off a bit here. Um, so I'm using my T ruler to just um, line up. Uh, I've placed my top uh, smallest pattern paper piece already placed that on top of my card base with liquid adhesive using my T ruler so I can line it up and and uh, place my bottom pattern paper piece um, um, proportionately or so that it lines up with the top pattern paper piece. And next I add my uh, largest pattern paper piece 
uh, with liquid adhesive and uh, go ahead and um, bring in my crab from the set and I've made a second card using slightly different elements same design pop the crab up on foam tape and the same for the bird in card number two and then I'm bringing in my Elizabeth Crafts gold peel-offs and placing three of those throughout the design and here I'm bringing in Wink of Stella and coloring in my crab and we'll do the same for my bird in the second card. Love that shimmer from the Wink of Stella pen and let's take a closer look at both of these cards. Cards 14 and 15 use uh, just use the pattern paper from the pad and uh, I am cutting out that pattern paper with a large lighthouse um, and I have uh, cut that down to three and a quarter by eight. Now I'm bringing in my uh, envelope punch and using the uh, corner rounder portion to round the corners of my pattern paper. I have cut three mats. Um, I will leave those measurements over on my blog post um, in case you might want to uh, use those measurements. So I've rounded the corners. I'm using liquid glue to affix all of my mats together. I really love the way this card turned out. Um, and here I am um, going to go ahead and, and do a little bit of work on my focal panel. I have um, heat embossed the sentiment happy birthday and rounded the left corner. I thought that went really well with this design. And um, I forgot to mention I'm using liquid, not liquid, I'm using um, platinum wow embossing powder uh, super fine detail for my sentiments in this video. So I placed that sentiment strip on my design and then I'm going to uh, bring in a few elements from that nautical bits and place those on my on the bottom of my focal panel. I used my left element to figure out where I wanted to place my right uh, starfish. I fixed that with liquid glue and then brought in my um, uh, second element and now I'm using double-sided tape to affix my uh, focal panel to my card base which I've also rounded the corners of my card base so all four corners. I'm just bringing in one of those gold peel-offs and placing that as my beacon of light on my lighthouse. And lastly, I bring in my Wink of Stella uh, to add glitter and shine to my elements. And let's take a closer look at all of the cards I made in today's video. I love, love, love this uh, Vintage Seas collection by Simple Stories. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if not already a subscriber. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. Until next time, good day, friends.